Welcome back YouTube to another Madden 17 Ultimate Team video and today we're going to be talking all about Mutt Master and if we think it is worth it or if I think it's worth it and I already know what I think um, please let me know what you guys think and maybe I'll change your opinion after this video but I'm just going to say right now I do not think Mutt Master is worth it this year but I am doing it because I didn't really realize all these reasons why until I was like halfway done with it. See, I've done like all the team challenge almost. I need two more. I'm like halfway done with this. I just need the elite badges, which I'll probably just buy. And I'm almost done with the man of the month. So I'm just going to jump right into the reasons why I don't think it is really worth it this year. So first off, obviously, 10 elite badges. They're going for like high 20s, 30s, pretty much 30k about. So 30 times 10, that's 300 right there. 300k and uh so yeah already that's a huge chunk out of your coins and i mean you could say that you're like you can pull them by like putting in uh like team items into that set that gets you badge packs and like useless things to get you badge packs to pull elites but this one concept i'm going to talk about it'll like kind of apply through everything in this video and it's the fact that even though you're putting something into a set, if you didn't buy it, you might think, oh, it's free, so like I'm putting that thing into it, and it didn't cost anything. Well, it's not true, because if you think about it, you're, that's potential coins. Like, putting in those two elite badges I have right there, I pulled them from badge packs, and I could have sold them and got like 50 to 60k from all that, maybe 40. And, like, you could say that it's free, technically, because you didn't buy them, but it's potential coins, so you're technically still losing your coins or, like, value, and it applies to all these hero cards and like the hero sets. So since this year, silvers and bronze are actually can be very expensive this year because of the hero sets. I'll show you right now. For example, the lions um, hero set, lions bronzes are three to four k right now. Where are they? Hero sets. Um, I'm about halfway done with man of the month. Actually, not even halfway. I'm just doing the von Miller one because I already had that started. Yeah, not even halfway yet. But I have pretty good progress in some of the sets. Um, let's see, the Lions one, I did complete it already. But this set is ridiculous. Like, all right, So the Golds are all cheap. They're like a 1,000 each, maybe even less. Um, silvers, they're cheap too. But the Bronze, oh my god, I'll show you. These were the killers. I only had like three of them, so it was really annoying to get them all. I'll show you right now. I was hoping they haven't changed. I don't think they have. But yeah, they were like 3 to 4k, usually like 3.5k when I was trying to fill out the sets. And if you think about it, that's 10 of those you need for that set. Alright, well they're a little bit cheaper right now, 3k still, but alright, more like 2k. But, um, they'll probably go back up and just keep fluctuating prices. But, so you put, say they're 3k each, about, you put 10 of those in, that's 30k. Silver's probably about like 5k for all those, and like 10k for the golds. That's a lot of coins for a player that you can't even auction, and I know that they're good players and they're useful, but really the only reason you'd be filling these out for Mutt Master is just to get that Man of the Month collectible. So, like, each set, you're losing about, like, 50k, and you're going to have to do 32 of them. So I'm not going to do the math, but, like, 50 times 32 is a lot of coins. Like, all these players you're losing by putting into these sets, they sell for a lot. Like, silvers and bronze, they add up so much. Like, I had a How to Make Coins video earlier in month this year, and it still works. Like, just going into your binder and selling all your bronze and gold, or bronze and silvers, and some golds even, they go for, like, if you just sold, like, 20 of them, it's at least, like, 50k, depending on, like, which ones you have. But you'll have at least a few ones that go for a lot. So, like, let's just say, you might think this is too high, but I actually think you have about 500k value in there. Maybe it's like 400 to 500k value worth of players that you're losing in there. The kids who won't believe me are the ones who haven't sold their silvers and bronze. And if you do, you'll under you'll agree with me. Like that's a lot of coins you're losing from these hero sets. That's really the big chunk that I don't or like reason I don't think my master's worth it is because of this. You need the man of the month. If that wasn't there, I would absolutely do this in a heartbeat. So let's say about 300k for all the elite badges and then about we'll say the minimum is probably like 400k i'd say for all the hero players or like silvers and bronze you're losing to hero that's 700k and then also and you get at total you're getting 500k and gronk and gronk goes for about 400k if you sell that then everything you're getting from up master total is about 900k of value pretty much a million coins but 900k more so 
once you do all these like challenges, which takes so much time too, like, you could spend a lot of the time doing other things and enjoying the game more. I mean, I know some of them are fun, but team challenge, I don't think anybody enjoys that. So that takes so long. I'm almost done with it. So 300k for the elite badges. Let's say 400. That's 700 already just from elite badges and just from this one collectible right here, this man of the month collectible. And then Gauntlet and Ultimate Season, you should do those anyways because those are really good rewards and they're fast and took only like a week or two. Um, and then here is the other one. It's the 100 wins, like the 100 uh, competitive badges. And you could be like, well, you can't really do that much with those. Well, yes, you can. This like almost makes up that last like 200k we need to like even out the rewards to show you that you're just kind of breaking even. Um, where is it? Nope, not this set. It is in competitive. So let's say, sorry about that notification. So let's say you had a hundred of them. You put in that Drew Brees. You got that Drew Brees, right? It's the, all these cards go for a lot. Like I'll, I'll show you all of them. They go for a lot of coins. Not that many people do them. Like there's Patrick Chung, there's Robert Quinn, Edelman, Stewart. Like all these cards, they go for a good amount because no one really does them. So let's go find that Drew Brees because that's a hundred of them. That's what you can get for, instead of doing like that collectible for Mutt Master because that could almost like even out that 200k we need that will prove that Mutt Master is pretty much just breaking even let's type in Drew Brees nope not this alright there so 130k so 70k really profit, and you could have honestly make more from the hero sets. I could argue that. Um, I think I've lost about 600k worth the players by the time I'm done with heroes. So you're honestly breaking even when it really comes down to all of the math added up, all the value that you're losing, all the cards that you're putting in. You're really just breaking even with my master if you really think about it. Um, the reason I'm still I'm gonna do it is because I didn't realize all this. So I've done a lot of the like collectibles and stuff, and if I'm already like halfway done, a little bit more than halfway, then you kind of have to finish, or else you're just losing like 300k, whatever you've done so far, whatever I've done. I think I put probably lost 300 to 400k already in the master set. So I'm just gonna finish it, just so I can get all those coins back with the Gronk and the 500k you get. But uh. That is pretty much it for this video. Tell me if you guys agree with me or disagree, and exp uh, please explain why if you disagree. Because um, I'm actually interested for some of you who believe it is very worth it. I mean, there also obviously are reasons why it's worth it. Just like it gives you something to do, and it has like a purpose, and it's also just awesome to do Mutt Master because you get players the next year, and you get a lot of like rewards from it for like the loyalty badges and all that stuff. But that is it for this episode. Please tell me if you agree with me or not, and thank you for watching.